Good afternoon. My name is Mara Kiesling, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Center for Transgender Equality. We're here in the office today in Washington, D.C., because this coming week is a big, big week for trans rights. Um, for the first time ever, the Employment Non-Discrimination Act that includes gender identity is going to run uh, and be voted on in one of the chambers of the United States Congress. Um, starting Monday, we're going to see some action for the first time in the United States Senate. Uh, what we've decided here at NCT to do is to, is to come to you every day with a little video to tell you what's happening and to try to explain what's about to happen so that you can follow it a little bit better. So let me catch you up to speed. Earlier this year, Senator Jeff Merkley from Oregon introduced Senate Bill 815, or the Employment Non-Discrimination Act. Uh, currently, we have 55 co-sponsors. And this past Thursday, Senator Harry Reid, the majority leader, filed for cloture. What that means uh, is if a cloture means you stop what is going on in the Senate in order to take up new business. You have to have cloture before you can take up a new business like a specific bill like ENDA. 48 hours after cloture is filed, you can then vote on cloture. That's what Monday night is, and that's the real pivotal vote for us, because if we have the 60 votes for cloture, that means we probably have the votes to go through and get other stuff, uh, get, get everything done we have to get done on ENDA. What we'd expect to happen after the cloture vote is starting Tuesday, there would be debate and floor speeches and some amendments, um, and then a final vote probably sometime Wednesday on ENDA in the Senate. Um, the amendment process is, is a little less predictable in the Senate than it is in the House of Representatives, but we're prepared for any conceivable amendment. Um, there are going to be some amendments that are meant to make the bill better, and there are going to be some amendments that are meant to kill the bill by making it unpalatable to anybody. Um, our allies in the Senate are prepared. Um, they understand what's going on. And, and we'll be there um, monitoring and making sure that everything goes the way it should. In the meantime, what we need everybody to be doing is to call their senators. Here's the phone number where you can get the main capital switchboard, and they'll connect you to one or both of your United States senators. The number is 202-224-3121. Again, it's 202-224-3121. Tell them where you live, and they'll hook you up with your senator. Keep calling them, whether they're supportive senators, not supportive senators, or on the fence. It matters a lot. We're really close. We're really optimistic, but we still need your help. Uh, I'm so honored to be able to be here working for trans people this week, and we'll get back to you with more information tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much.